Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again with another episode of Morris Goes to Oblivion, this time with episode 86, and we are starting out here in Battlehorn Castle, where we left off last time. It's 11.30pm, so what we should do is head back in and take a bit of bed rest. How are you today? Quite well. And I shall turn it over now to Checkers, sorry, Morris. The High Elf. Yes, well, one of those individuals, I'm certain, is somewhere involved. Let's go ahead here and rest for, oh, say, nine hours. Let's make it ten, just to be on the safe side. And... get ourselves a good night's rest. Well met. Of course. Actually, we can leave by our new secret hideout exit. Bit faster to leave, certainly, over to the Coral South Gate. And over to Rashida. What was that? I swore I heard a high-pitched sound over there. Anyway, let's head into Fire and Steel. Always a relief to see Rashida here. Well met. Oh, wait. One moment, Rashida. Farewell. Need to just dip into some magic here. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Of course it is, darling. Now, let's see here. Have let's a look at my work. Take a look at Haggling. Wonderful. Now, we'll sell you a Dwarven Bow. And a Dwarven Dagger. And a Dwarven Longsword. And we did invest, I believe, in Rashida's store. Let's see, what else do we have here? An Orcus Curaz for 600. Steel boots. That's a fair deal. Gauntlets. That's a good deal. And greaves. Oh, of course, why don't you have a flawless ruby? And a flawless pearl. You've made a good bit of gold. Well, that is the gold, dear. All right. Wonderful. Now, let's exit Thank here. You. Come again. And we can't invest any more, but... Can't go into battle with broken equipment. We could ask her to repair first rock shatter the mage fighters greaves and our shrouded hood the elven bow we should be able to take care of ourselves and there we are Goodbye. thank you rashida off we go now we still need more sneak oh quite a bit Although, I suppose we could go back to our shrouded armor and hood for now. What, what extra are we carrying? I suppose that orcish or the mage fighter's greaves and orcish boots. Yes, there they are. Mind and body. Wonderful. So we can wear two rings. Fascinating. All right. Now. Weatherward circlet. Wonderful. We still need money. We need practice sneaking. Hmm. Slightly tempted to just go back to the Imperial City and, well... Liberate items. 
the Gray Fox is supposed to get in touch with us, we although it is arm. possible Please. that we need much better sneak for that as well. Wait, wait, you did and ask for a coin. Enough. Here you are, have your Thank coin. You kind, sir. Take care. Blessings are missed on the yeah, their meat is rather tasty. Who Goodbye. the King and Queen Tavern Fathis Ulis? Why do I recognize that name? Iniel Sintav, Lork Mir. Well, I'm not entirely sure that robbing the locals would be quite worth it. Hmm. And I certainly don't want to go back down into the sewers. Well, in that case, let's go back out exploring the world, looking for ruins to ply our trade. You know what? Well, it won't get us much in the way of coin, but there is that gate right next to Battlehorn that I feel remiss in not dealing with. It is a privilege. Of course it is. Let's just Ow! take a little bit of a drop there. And let's see here. No, no, no. Slightly better healing is what we want. This one's just a little too close to home. Let's get Dee Dee back on deck. Oh, scamp. Dee Dee, darling, would you be a dear and deal with that scamp, please? Oh. Well. Well done, Dee Dee. I suppose we're going to have to go back into oblivion again. So, off we go. Alright, we'll take their advice, press the space-time key, and then fire on that scam. Wonderful. No little scamp, it shan't be that easy. Body is not searchable. Well, one steel arrow, scamp skin. We do have quite a bit of them, but of course we can take one. Let's see what we have to do now. Well, first avoid these towers, I'm sure. Wonderful. Nah, didn't quite dodge that one. Don't mind us, Clan Fear. Dee Dee Darling. There's a Clan Fear right here. Dee Dee, this is not the time to wander off on your own. But you're still going to do that anyway, aren't you? We are slipping down, aren't we? All right, well, you look like a pincushion, but... Uh, 
get some healing done this way. And a little bit done this way. Don't really want to run out of mana. Or magicka, I should say. Summon Daedroth. Take five steel arrows back. And let Didi perhaps go after this flame Atronog. Oh, sorry, Didi. Didn't really expect you to cut across that way. Dee Dee darling, here please, not, not over there, not whatever that is down the, why are you over there, Dee Dee, seriously. Thank you, Dee Dee. Did you get whatever it was that was bothering you? No. Did he go for the Tremora, darling? There you are. Perfect. What is that? Thank you, Didi. Steel arrow. Nearness of evil. What is the nearness of evil? Blunt one hand. Six damage. Heavy. Weakness to fire. 20% for 20 seconds. Alright, well. And the Dremora here has Daedra Heart. Inspiring touch. Well, you go ahead and be inspired. And we will switch back to slightly better healing. And try to top off. There we are. Switch back to... Summon DD. And then carefully make our way. Well, did not expect that. Dee Dee, dear. Wonderful. Base Ring of Retribution. Reflect damage 8% on self. Daedra Heart. Alluring Gaze. Charm. Interesting. We'll take it. And try and dodge whatever fire is coming our way. Alright, let's get our slightly better healing going. Topped off, and then back to summon Didi. Have a little bit of Magicka Essence. We'll save that other one in case we have to come back this way. There's a creature on me. One moment, please. Well, that was an unfortunate encounter with a creature inside my own, well, let's say, home. But let's try to get back to it, shall we? And see what we can find. As we have things to do. 
Well done, Dee Dee. Thank you for the arrows and scam skin. We're done with you now. Heading up to the rending holes. Still practicing our sneak ability. DD, be a dear. Break the Atronach, would you? back. Not really any worse for wear. Oh, hello. Mine's bigger than yours is. There you are. All right, I guess we can see what's here. Citadel Hall door. Well, wonderful. Please take your time. Well, what? Oh, one of the mines, is it? That was quite painful, all things considered. Well, and... Probably not overwhelmingly necessary, so let's just fall back here, heal up as best we can, take the fire salts, excellent, and then drink the Magicka Essence, come back. Select DD. See what this Dermora was carrying. Weak Potion of Fortune. Daedra Heart. A Ruby. Command Creature. Meh. Damage Health. Pacification. All low level. Burden of Anger. Six damage. 43 weight. Don't love the weight, but 300 value. We're not getting anything else extraordinary so far, so we may as well take it until it's too heavy to be valuable to us. Door to the Lust Keep. Just the other day, I was wondering how on earth I was going to get to the Lust Keep. Well, I'm sure I could go some other way, but can I go this way? I mean, really, it does appear that what I want to do is just go up. Yes, yes, I'm sure you're very, very something, Clanfield Runt. Delicious. Perhaps we'll have to ask Dee Dee. Sorry, Dee Dee. I distracted it. Don't mean to steal your toys. All right, let's head up. And fire upon this Dramora. Didi the Dramora, please. There we are. Anything interesting there? As it slides down gleefully. Dramora Mace. Nothing. Nothing spectacular. Anything on you? Four steel arrows. We'll take those. Potion of Cure Poison. Oh, I suppose. Daedra Heart. Uh, well, here, Dee Dee, why don't you play with this creature? How did that miss? Well, 
Well, that was short work. Burden of Sin. Got it. Dramora Churl has a Daedra heart. Sure, why not? Don't want anyone to feel left out. Yes, you will succeed. You will stand against the Daedroth. Believe in yourself. All right, let's go here. Slightly better healing. And one more. And set up once more for DD. Revealer of Iniquity. Well, that one did seem to be worth quite a bit more. Light 50 feet for 60 seconds on strike. Drain Illusion. What was it? Burden of Sin? Burden of Anger? Daedra Heart? Oh, all right. And up we go. I hear you, but I don't see you. Ah, you're all the way around there, are you? Well, we'll just walk around here then. And then ask Dee Dee to come out and play. Good shot. And so much for that. Wonder what this does. Ruined portal to the Lust Keep. What do we have here? Dramora Mace. Daedra Heart, you can keep that. Well, I guess we can try this. D.D. the Dramora, please. Oh, well. I, no, that was the appropriate one, D.D. That really was. There we are. Five steel arrows. Potion of the Sea. Water breathing on cell for 45 seconds. That could be, well, something in an emergency. Dramora Caitiff here has just a Dramora Mace. This is, I believe, where we came from. So perhaps this is where we wish to go? No, I think that just put us back down. Then perhaps we need this. Door to Sigillum Sanguis. Well, this looks somewhat right. Dee Dee Darling, the Clan Fear, if you'd be so kind. No, no, Dee Dee. The clan fear. Yes, this one, right here. Well done, Dee Dee. And we should probably take the time to cast a bit of healing. And perchance back that up with a potion. And then summoning Didi once more. Didi, darling, would you please break the Dramora? Alright, this is 
unfortunate. I... I'm going to rely on Didi because I don't appear to be able to move. Daedra Hard, what is this weapon? Get out of the way, fool. Hmm. Where did his weapon go? Not there. Well, I don't see it. But... Let's see. Strength damage does it see, seems to be temporary, so... Let's just finish this and be done. Unsightly addition to the neighborhood. Sneak skills increased. Which means we should be able to just do this. Ah, above us. What did you do to Didi? Didi, need you now, darling. Thank you. What were you carrying? Steel arrow, but where's that sword? Was it summoned? It was right in his hand when he fell. Well, not much we can do about it. Back to slightly better healing. Ah, all the way back there. Then we want to summon Didi. There's another Dramora cruising around over there. Didi, ignore the scamp. Didi, please ignore the scamp. <sighs> Thank you, darling. Two steel arrows, a potion of endurance. Alright, you can keep all of that. Going to step around. I believe there was another one of these essence fountains here. Burden of Sin, you go ahead and keep that. There's what we're looking for. Helmet of the Apprentice, we'll take that. Potion of Grounding, sure. 204 gold fire salts into the glowy ball, pressing the space-time key and taking the sigil stone. Well, that one was quite a bit easier than some of the others have been. And now we don't have to worry about this unsightly thing. From Battlehorn. Wonderful. Let's head back down. Pity we can't get back up there as easily as we can get out of there.
All right. I think we're just about home. And perhaps we will bring our journey to a close. Where is the door? Did I pass it? I did. Can't take me anywhere. One oblivion gate, and I'm rattled enough. Oh, and by the way, we're on the other side. I should have thought of that. There we are. No problem. All right. For the moment, I would like to say thank you so much for joining me on this journey through an Oblivion Gate. I hope you found it entertaining and perhaps even a little bit informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe to Checkers of the Human, and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I'd also like to invite you to like and to share if you so desire. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please take care.